Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. This little piece was inspired by Catherine Coate from Creation CC, who did a whole series of little trees on black paper with gold and silver paint pens a few years ago. Now, I found some lovely black paper that I have. This is Pastello by Tiziano and Fabriano paper. And I have this silver glimmer paper. So I thought perhaps I could do a similar but different card using this glimmery paper. And I'm feeling quite confident that this might be a rather pretty card. I have a lot of gold and silver and white paint pens already. These are from Sakura, the gold and silver, and they're different sizes from 2.5 millimetres, 2 millimetres, 1.8, and I think there's one millimetre. And then I have a couple of Posca pens. Now, I can't tell you the sizes of these because it's written in Japanese, and I do not read Japanese, but it's like a medium and probably a uh, broader tip. So I'm cutting down the silver glimmer paper. This is from Stampin' Up!, and this is going to be the silver snow in my piece. And a little bit of this glimmer paper goes a long way. To have a whole piece of it on a card is just a little bit too much. So I'm cutting it down and I'm going to use some of this lovely Fabriano Pastello paper. And I'm slicing things down to the point where I want to put layer upon layer upon layer. So my silver paper silver layer will go there with the black over the top. I'm going to cut away some of the bottom to form it like a silver snowbank. And then I'm going to layer that on the white card base. So there's layers going on here. And the first thing I need to do is to draw a wavy line across the bottom to create the silvery snow that the tree will be sitting in. You can see how much glitter has come off on that paper. The glimmery paper is quite wild, really. It's good to use in, in small doses, but I think it looks quite nice with that really fine edge around the outside. It's about an eighth of an inch around the outside. And so I use some Tombow Mono Adhesive. And this is one of the best ways to adhere this because the glimmer paper is difficult to adhere things to unless you're using liquid glue. And the other thing you need to do is once you've stuck this onto the glimmer paper, you need to put it under a weight. So I have an acrylic block nearby. And once I get that lined up, I'm just going to put that block straight on top to act as a weight so it can set. And I'll put it off to the side while I get on with my practice pieces. It's dried and it's dried beautifully flat too, which is good. So here's the white card base that I want to layer it onto. And I'm going to put the Tombow glue on the front of the card. Get that all glued up, ready to go. But before I put it on, I'm going to stamp because if I miss stamp, I can turn this paper in the reverse and use this on the cover and cover it up. But it has stamped beautifully. I tend to usually do my stamping before I put my layering on for that reason. You could always layer on the front of that and you wouldn't waste the paper. Now I have a scratch piece here that I'm practicing on and I recommend that you do this because paint bends can be quite temperamental. Uh, you've got to be careful when you start out that they don't come out as a big blob, that they don't leak out on you. So practice on some scratch paper first. I'm going to have a nice big star at the top of my tree. I'm not going to have any other stars in the sky, just this one star on top of the tree. And I like the way I've been able to sort of get the lines radiating out and put a few little dots to extend those lines. So I'm using dotted gold lines. This is the fine gold tip pen. This is the one millimeter from Sakura. This is a pen touch gold pen. And it's very, very faint. And that's how I want it to be. 
so that the dots are almost disappearing and then it just needs a circle in the center to define it as a star shape rather than a cross shape and just a few little bits here and there but it's looking pretty good now I'm going to define the outside of the tree and you can see as I press down on that I got some really heavy dots but that's okay because this tree is going to have heavy medium and light dots in it anyway so I'll work around that So that's my shape. I've made it a bit wider at the base. And then I'm coming in with the silver. And basically all you do is create dots of different sizes. That's it. So this is the secret to this really successful tree. And I'm very grateful that I saw um, Catherine do this tutorial because even though she was using watercolour paints for the snow and she was putting stars in the background, hers, her cards were absolutely gorgeous. And I was inspired to try and do something that was a little bit simpler for me to do rather than all the watercolour painting. And I just had a chance to use up my pens. I love the fact that there's only a tiny amount of that glimmer paper showing through behind the black. And the main glittery part of the card is in the snow where the tree is sitting. And basically you just go around and fill in that shape with large, medium and small silver, white and gold dots. That's it. So this card went together really quickly. There was a lot of preparation in how I was planning it out. And I really wanted to do a beautiful star on top of my tree. So I practiced and practiced until I found a shape that I really liked. And I decided not to have any stars in the sky or anything other than just the tree with a star on top. And I love it. It's very satisfying to do. And really the only concern I had was that the paint might blob out of the paint pen, but I'm using just a very light touch now. There's not a lot of space left. And there it is. Couldn't be simpler. So here are my little snowflakes that I've been using all week to stage my cards. I'm doing a whole series of 2022 Christmas cards. If you haven't seen those yet, have a little look. And if you haven't seen CC's trees, um, go to her channel and catch up on the Christmas trees that she's done. They are absolutely gorgeous. Definitely worth a look. And this is where my inspiration came from. So many thanks. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again for the next video. Lots more Christmas videos are on the way. I'll see you then. Bye for now.